The first of about 250 Afghan refugees have made it to Rhode Island. Amin Fakuri and his family landed at TF Green Airport Saturday night. Now the former combat interpreter is starting a new life after the Taliban took over Afghanistan and its capital of Kabul. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with Fakuri and local agencies about what's next and what the future or what future hurdles refugees could expect. Matt? It's been hurdle after hurdle for Amin Fakiri and his family to get to the United States. But local agencies say those challenges aren't over just yet. Hey guys, so Amin Fakiri spent nearly a decade helping the United States military during its war on terror. We're, we're just going to settle in um, in, in Rhode Island in Providence, and uh, I'm going to start a new life like a newborn baby. Fakiri says he and his family had planned to come to the United States for a long time, but plans changed after the Taliban took over Kabul. Not have been gotten out, my life would have been in danger. Do not forget who I am. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm an Afghan. Kathy Cloutier, executive director of Dorcas International Institute of Rhode Island, says it's been hard to plan how they were going to welcome these families. It's only just beginning because there, there's so much to prepare as their sponsor ahead of time. And the resources are so um, limited right now. Affordable housing continuing to be an issue for Rhode Islanders. Affordable housing, I'm saying right now, is almost non existent. So we're doing combinations of more expensive permanent housing as well as um, host families. Rhode Island welcoming 250 Afghan refugees, according to Cloutier. But how are they paying for it? There is federal funding um, coming down to assist these folks, but um, quite frankly, it's not going to be enough. She says the federal funding in place will bring Rhode Island roughly $500,000. $2,000 per person, housing, transportation, schools, health um, really isn't going to go very far. We're only guaranteed funding for the first quarter. Budget is only approved through December. Now, Cloutier expressing just how grateful she was for all of the local support from both groups and the governor's office and says that anyone who would like to help out in any way when it comes to these Afghan refugees to please do so. And for the information on how you can do so, you can find that on our website at WPRI.com. But reporting in East Providence, Matt Paddock. Of news.